Morning peeps, time now is just gone half past six. I'm in Ferrell. It's my first day of tracking uh, and I'm heading to the start. It's ironic, I've got to walk 17 minutes that way to the start and then I've literally got to walk back this way because this is on the Camino. <laughs> Uh, but I'm going to do it. There's no point in cheating, is there? I'm only cheating myself. So um, anyway, so that's that's Feral. Today I've got 28 kilometres or 28.42 kilometres, um, and breakfast is not for another eight kilometres. Yeah, that's the first village. Uh, got my shoe lights on. <laughs> oh, looks like when the batteries have gone already. I've only been up for five minutes. Um, I fell asleep last night about half past six in the evening I was absolutely shattered and then I woke up about one o'clock in the morning when next door um, had there was must have been a family of about five or six of them they were so loud some people just have no consideration for others they're banging screaming at each other um, banging doors and windows and oh, I don't know what they were doing but they kept me awake for about an hour and a half I finally fell back to sleep about three o'clock in the morning uh, but yeah, let's do this. I'm all set for it. Let's go. Right, it's 10 to 7, 10 to 7, and here I am at the start. So, as it says, Camino de Santiago, uh, Camino English. So, this is the English route. I must admit, I've got to give a shout out to the Bon Camino app. It's got a little compass on it. So, if I couldn't find this thing at all, I've been wandering around uh, the harbour around here. So, you can see the harbour. Thinking, where on earth is the milestone? Where's the start? So it launched that compass, it brought me straight to it. So yeah, Bon Camino app is pretty awesome. So you see the QR code there? This is on the very first sign saying where to go. Uh, that links to a website that has a bit of history about the area. I never knew that, how cool is that? Okay, I don't know if you can see this. It's my first milestone. And I'll shine it with my shoe torch, 112 kilometers. By the way, from earlier, I just forgot to switch them on. So normally, I like these sort of uh, statues, but when they just appear like this, when you walk on your own in the middle of a strange city, um, it can be a bit scary. <laughs> okay, so just gone nine o'clock, and I've had my breakfast. Where did I have it? There, McDonald's, sausage egg McMuffin, and a latte. You can't go wrong with that. And there's, I've met some more pilgrims, so that's good. So not just me now, other people are around, so that's good. Got my fit. <laughs> We've got a goat on the road. Oh, it's a, uh, uh, it's a cow. Okay, it's <laughs> <laughs> this is Alan. Hello. Okay, just reached Santa Maria, so I'm about 11 miles in. Just stopping for some, well, a quick break. I'll show you what I've got. Let's have a look. Just went to a German cake shop. It sells bread and stuff like that. Uh, and I have... She stuck the extra cherry on top for me. Isn't that sweet? I did go to a cafe there, but it was absolutely rammed. So I'd have waited at least half an hour before I got fed. So uh, yeah, I'm going to enjoy my cake and sit and watch the world go by. Okay, so this is the hostel this evening. I've got my clothes drying outside. Yay! <laughs> and Susie, and these are the beds. There's just 20 in this one. Are you I'm sleeping? Absolutely. There we go. And I'm going to top them there. Five A. 